Hello guys, welcome to this video. Let's talk today about the Hack Vision in VR and the playback failed no match the record file error. Okay, if you see this one on the screen, I have the solution here for you and you don't need to lose your data. So watch the video to the end. If you got the error, playback failed, no match the record file, here's the solution. Okay, so I have here the Hack Vision in VR. As you can see here in the screen, I have the image is a Hike Vision DS7600 series, and I'm using this Hike Vision camera. Okay, so it's a regular Hike Vision camera, but it doesn't matter, any camera works. As long as you have the error, you can correct with the solution that I'm about to give you here, okay? And guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your comments, all right? It doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. What's your high vision model? If you leave the comments here, that helps other people to understand their problem as well and fix their problem. So please leave your comments here as well, right? So let's go to the solution for this problem. If you take a look here at the screen, you see the NVR date. In my case here is correct. Today it is Saturday. Okay, the date is correct. When I, dub, when I click here, I go to menu. I draw my pattern here and I come to the menu and configuration. And here I see the date and the time zone is correct. The date format, system date, everything's correct here. So make sure your is also correct. And uh, the most interesting part, the most uh, important part is come back to your NVR and take a look at this. Okay, this is the CMOS battery. Let me just approach here with the camera so we can see better. Let me just zoom in a little bit more. So we see better, here we go. Okay guys, so that's the CMOS battery. If it's not good, you're gonna have this error with the playback failed, all right? So what I have to do is just turn off your NVR and replace this battery, okay? This is what I'm gonna do right now. So I can come here to my NVR to make sure that I, I do this correctly. I come to the menu again here with my pattern and I go to shut down. So I'm going to shut down the NVR, sh shut down the system, yes. System is shutting down. That's to avoid lose, losing data, right? Because the NVR is recording, and in this case, it's going to start stop recording and let you turn off the NVR. Of course, you can just turn off in the bottom, but it's better to do this to save your data, okay? So here we go. Please power off. It's good to go. So I just power off here this button and here i need to replace this cmos battery okay if you don't know how to replace it you just need a tool uh, let me just grab mine this kit for example i have a tool here uh, this one is i like the most for this task okay so basically here you need to come to your battery. It could be different in, in yours, right? But basically you need to push this metal part here to release the battery, okay? Let me just do this right now. So I'm basically pushing this a little bit and the battery just jumped, you see? Pretty easy. Let me just put this to a side and here I have the battery, okay? So that's the one you need to replace. It depends on the NVR, it can vary, but you just need to check yours and go to buy a new one, okay? So make sure you have this battery, uh, a good one, and you just come here and you put it in place like this. You just push it and it's in place. And then you turn on your NVR again. Here we go. Wait for it to boot. Here we go, that's the NVR. Remember that I have everything here connected. I have the cable uh, to power to the camera, right? With the internet that powers the camera, I have the HDMI cable and the power supply. Now I just need for 30 to 40 seconds to, so the NVR can boot up and I'm good to go. Here we go, it's coming up. And guys, also remember something important, okay? Your hard drive here. Uh, you need to check the cables, check, check that everything is correctly connected. It, and also use a good brand like this one, for example, I'm using Seagate Skyhawk. You can also use Western Digital Purple, which, which is also a good brand for NVR. They are the best, okay? You need to use a surveillance hard drive to make things working fi or work fine, right? 
Okay, so my NVR is back here at the screen, you see. The camera is not uh, up yet, it's putting up a, a, as well. So right click here, menu, I draw my pattern again. And here I have the date, okay. So mine is already set here, but if you, yours is not, you just come here and set the date. And something important as well, you can come check your hard drive. Here have the hard drive capacity, status, property, type, everything looks great, all right? And I don't see the brand here, so it's important to open the NVR. So you can take a look here, for example, I have the date, uh, the brand Seagate Skyhawk Lite with the, the line for surveillance system. So it's important to check there. And uh, if it's a brand new, you can come here to initialize your hard drive or format the hard drive, which is a good idea. Back here, see the camera is back. Uh, what else you can check here is the maintenance, all right? You come to maintenance in here on hard drive, HDD detect. You have this option to check. So you click here to self-test status. It's not tested, for example, here you can do a short test or a more expanded or convenience test. You just click here and wait for it to test, okay? Or And also you can check here bad sector. You can come here you see your hard drive, key error detection, capacity, you click here, detect, and it start detecting errors, right? So it works pretty fine as well. It, this is just to make sure everything is correct here. For example, here, when you check your bed sector, you'll see if it's normal, if it's damaged, or it's shielded, meaning you cannot record on it. So make sure you check here. It doesn't take that long. You see when you click here, this key area detection, it goes faster not full, full takes a long time. So key area, you click here, detect, and then you're gonna start seeing here one by one of the sectors is going to be checked here, see? Here it's showing green, which is normal, it's very, very good. And I just need to wait to it to finish. And you see it testing, it's pretty fast, 24% here. So guys, it's important to make sure that you have this so you, you're no longer gonna have this playback failed uh, error in the future, right? Uh, it's related to the CMOS, of course, and but also could be related to a bad sector. If you're not recording well here, you're gonna have a hard time to play back your videos, right? So just make sure everything is correct here. As you can see, I'm just waiting here a little bit, but it's pretty fast. It's already at 8, 83%, 92, and keeps going. So it's pretty fast, right? So. You just need to make sure yours is correct. See here, status is complete, mine is good. Completely green here and it's good, okay? You can do the same here with the self uh, test here for uh, the smart settings, okay? And that's it, right? So you do this to make sure everything is correct and also record here. You need to set up the recording if you wanna continuous or by event or motion, whatever you want. And something else, else important, here in Advanced, click on Override. It means it's going to delete old recordings and replace with the new ones, right? So you're gonna have everything correct here, right? So that's it, guys. You can now uh, recover from the playback failed, no match the record file or error. Okay, and if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.